Hello guys, welcome to a brand new playthrough of The Expanse, a Telltale series. I want to do a little bit of history lesson with Telltale. If you don't know or somehow you don't remember them, uh, Telltale has been responsible for developing a bunch of cool story games in the past. And one of the most profitable games, well I thought it was profitable, but one of their biggest games they've made is the Walking Dead series, you know, with Clementine and Lee. They were like the best games they've made, and then they made other stuff like Minecraft, Batman, Wolf Among Us, and I think Game of Thrones, which pretty much led to their bankruptcy, I think, because they made all those other games that are not The Walking Dead, and I don't think they made as much money, which kind of suck. And so the, the company went down, it was shut down completely, and then another game studio company with more money than them, they brought them back to life and told them like, hey, here's all the money you need, make more games. So they came up with this, The Expanse. Now The Expanse is a... This game is based off a show that I've heard about but never seen, and that's a good thing because um, this game is supposed to be like a prequel to the show, so I'm actually kind of excited about that. So if I like the game enough, then I'll go watch the show, even though I think it got canceled. So is there a point? I don't know. Let's play, let's play the game and see if there is. Man, the game's already blue-balling me. I don't like it. Let's celebrate. What are we celebrating? Our last mission. I've heard that before. This is the one. By the end of the day, all of us are going to be fucking rich, but mostly... You and me. It's another wreck. It's not just any wreck. The UNN Urshinabi. Dropped off the map less than a week ago. No distress call. Those UNN pricks never come out this far unless they're carrying something special. Aren't you one of those UNN pricks? <laughs> Easy. If I'm still one of those UNN pricks, then you're still an OPA traitor with Anderson Dawes' bounty on your head. But... The past is the past. The past is the past. Why didn't you take it? The bounty. I knew you were worth more. Anybody who could piss off someone that dangerous must be pretty fucking valuable. Okay, I got some choices. Hold on. Real quick. So, right now this scene is playing eight hours earlier before... I guess my character, the protagonist, was gonna airlock the dude. What did he do? I really want to know to, um, what reason why she was gonna airlock him. And you're worth more. Anybody who could piss off someone that dangerous must be pretty fucking valuable. Anyone could piss off Dawes. You don't owe me. Um, girl don't boss. Make the same mistake he did. I work for you, but you don't own me. <laughs> Believe me, I'm well aware. Just want to make sure you're not having second thoughts about our deal. No, come on. We're equal partners. We pay the crew, the costs, and the overhead. The rest is 50-50. You and me. We've got a good thing going here. 
Nobody fucks with you, which means nobody fucks with me. And hell, if this score is what I think it could be, you've got the deal of the century. Now drink. Now drink. Drink the scotch. I'll celebrate it later. Now, well, anything bad happen to drink it? You know what? I'll put it down. I'll toast you when I've got my fortune. Suit yourself. I'll keep a waiting for when you return. Sorry, sir, but I prefer to pour my own glass. Time to rally the crew for Cox's latest, last mission. I should start by briefing Khan. Oh, wow, I'm very fast. In past Telltale games, when you're walking around, you're mostly a very slow walker. This is a speed I'm not used to. So, what did it work for? The back says. Berenton. Wait, what? Baratna's gas? I'm gas to fa up! Where'd I go? Khan. Hey, Khan. Khan, new orders from the captain. I know. He already sent me the coordinates. Captain thinks that this could be. Last score we'll ever need. All of a century. I got the pep talk from him. What's our ETA? It depends. On what? On how long you plan to waste my time. Oh dear. I made the lackey upset. Forgive me. The voice acting sounds a little off. Like it looks like an old person. But the voice doesn't sound naturally like an old person. Oh dear. I made a lackey upset. Forgive me. Let her have it. Play it off. Fashing fun, you will bet. I'll break through to you eventually. You want to braid somebody's hair? Go find Maya. I'm busy. We're nearly there. The debris field is massive. It'll take me a minute to navigate. Somebody blew that ship to hell and back. I should check the command console for more information on the ocean lobby. She's been chewing on that same cigar for weeks. All right, Khan, do your thing. I trust you. Us girl bosses have to stick out to each other. Command console. As the XO, it's my job to make sure the ship and its crew are in order. I keep a log on the ship and on our scavenge missions. The Oshinabi is a brand new wreck. If Cox intel's good, the United Nations will likely send another ship to investigate the loss of one of their navy, but that could take weeks. Cox is overconfident as always, but there could be valuables on board. Yeah, it could be. Or you'll get like another Ishimura moment. You wouldn't want that. If you get the reference, you get the reference. Crash couch. Wouldn't want to do a high G burn in one of these. It's bad enough with the juice in the cushy chair. I haven't had to shoot much, but we keep the PDCs fully stocked. Just in case. Just in case, guys. You hear that? We got people that are prepared for anything. Can I run still? Time to find the rest of the crew. Uh, right there, tutorial. Press to run faster. <laughs> nice. They read my mind. Yeah, this speed is unmatched for a Telltale game. It's super unrecognizable. Even the graphics. It's pretty great. It's not like 2023 great, but it's great for Telltale standards. So hopefully it gets better here and out. Of course. Cox needs to get his beauty rest before he gets back to work, doing absolutely nothing. Oh, shots fired. Ship's diagnostics always come back good. The Artemis isn't much to look at, but she's built to last. Arlen said he put all this away. What was it, three days ago? Lazy Jedi. 
Wait, did I come from this way? I think it did. Or was it from the, this ladder over here? Crew deck. I think I'm looking for Maya, right? Hold a scan. Airlock prep log. New Artemis log unlocked. This one? Mission log. Artemis crew roster. Cox has assembled an interesting crew. The twins, Arlen and Ryan. They're are the only other belters. The rest come from the inner planets. Maya from Mars. Well, that's cool. Virgil from Luna. And Khan and Cox from Earth. All right. None of the inners, inners really talk about what brought them to the belts, but that's no surprise. You don't become a scavenger because things were going so well at home. A scavenger. Tutorial. If you're lost, press to ping a directional marker. Oh, look at that. That's pretty cool. Actually, you know what? That looks pretty distracting. Wow. Why is it moving around so smoothly? That is so odd. You know what would be cooler? I feel like... You know how they do it in the Bioshock where they show like a line directing from the ground showing you where to go? I feel like that would have been a lot more cooler looking. Hold on, I'm going to check out the other rooms first. I want to get familiarized with the ship before I could do a plane. Discharge letter. I never thought I'd get along with a Martian Marine. But Maya hates the MCRN almost as much as I do. Reasons for your discharge include, but are not limited to, insubordination. Three counts. Declara declaration. Derelic dereliction? Dereliction? Of duty. Two counts. Sharing anti-Martian media, literature, or sentiment. Two counts. Uh, fraternization. One count. What does that word mean? I don't know. The MCRN does not tolerate divisive, divisive behavior within its rank. To order is prosper, all citizens must work to serve the Republic and advance Martian interests. By failing in your duties to Mars, you have impeded the cause which billions of Martians have dedicated their lives. Wow. They're blaming this one person. Private Castillo. I wonder if that gets, like, more expanding the show because again this game is a prequel so whatever happens here I feel like it's expanding the show if not then yeah that sucks puzzle if he doesn't secure that thing before we come out of trust we'll all be finding pieces in our beds again Opa armband I told him he couldn't wear OPA symbols for the sake of crew unity so instead, he displays it here, like a petulant child. OP Anarchy. Wow, there's a lot of stickers and graffiti. Who is this, a teenager? Okay, let's go talk to, um, Objective. Brief Virgil. Gotta go Brief Virgil. Wait, Data Cube. Upload. This is my room? I got a lot closer to a captain's chair than I would have expected. And a lot further away from anything else. Vac suit, suit up. I need to finish briefing the rest of my crew before I suit up. Oh, it is my room. Series charm. A little token of my childhood on series. Each time it gets another crack, it reminds me of that shit heap even more. What about the data cube? Dos gave me everything. Even with everything he's done to me, I would never turn Dos into UN enforcers. Took every yen I had to get off Ceres without Dos or Star Helix noticing. Never had time for dating on Ceres. Now I've got plenty of time and no one to date. Wait, what is S? Hey there, Kamina. Due to lack of payment, we're going to inform your account with low gravity, no pressure. No pressure? has lapsed. We hope this sign that you found the connection you've been looking- Is this a dating website for space? That's funny. That's actually really funny. A space website for dating. Okay, let's go look for Virgil. 
I wonder if he's full of determination. Virgil. Virgil. <sighs> Exo drummer. <clears throat> Usually medics only know enough to plug that thing in and rig up the morphine dispenser. Well, I took a course in auto dock repair during my residency. Useful for work outside the medical system. It's been giving me abnormal readings since series, but I finally know why. The laser crystal's badly occluded. Mike can fix it. Can it be replaced? That sounds serious. Can we replace it? We can, and should. Normally, I wouldn't recommend it. I could always open people up the old-fashioned way. But the twins get into more mishaps than a normal crew. A high-quality gem would ensure that I'm ready for their next disaster. I assume you didn't come here to talk about crystals. We have a new target. What is it this time, El Dorado? The Fountain of Youth? Let me guess. The Falcon Horde of Venus? <laughs> the UNN Urshanabi. Cap believes there's something valuable on board. Something special. Do we want to invite that kind of attention? We'll be fine. In and out. No games. I'll monitor any data you send back. And I'll be here to patch anyone up, should it come to that. Gotta go brief the twins. I like Virgil. He seems pretty cool. Notes. I wonder what angry pilot could have written this. Barbecue sauce. What's your excuse this time? You not get enough sleep? You need some aqua caca, huh? Ow! Oh, just let me go. It just fell, okay? Well, I tell you! Tinsha, you stupid prick! Quit fucking up! Hey, boss man! Make him stop! Shut it, Tokaka! Uh, I'm enjoying this. Carry on. I'm enjoying the show. See, Pashanwala? Even Exo agrees. Okay, okay. For the good brother. <laughs> we got a job, Baradnas. Listen up. Nah, fuck that. I'm tired of rooting around in the dumpster for that Inya. Cox promised us a real payday. He said, give me three months and you never have to work again. He said, he said, this the next job, and he the boss man. <sighs> Just like series, bossing everyone around, only this time no dolls to keep you on the leash, yeah? Punch him, ignore him. Ah, I'll be the bigger person. Punch? I kind of want to punch him. He's got a very punchable face. Look at that. Those eyes, the eyebrows, the nose, the lips. Just do your job. Okay. Jordan, boss man. Come on, Baratna. I bet that went well. I can imagine a lot of other people is probably going to punch him. By the end of the episode, they'll show like a percentage. I wonder if they'll do that again. Well, they'll show like a worldwide percentage of people that have punched him or ignored him. ETA, five minutes, drummer. Will do, boss man. Headed back to my room to suit up now. I just want to bet that the bigger percentage punched him. Food in the belt is never fancy. But my stomach still turns when I look at this mush. I mean, it can't be that bad. Just add a little bit of cheese and you got some mac and cheese over there. I've never made homemade mac and cheese. That's like one of those things I want to learn how to make. 
Because I like mega cheese when I was a kid. And making homemade stuff is always the best when it's made well. How do people make home recipes like family stuff? Even though they're like already existing dishes. I wonder, like, I guess you just make the generic thing and then you just add a little bit of a twist and you put your name on it. That's the family recipe. Uh, suit up, right? Wait, where's my room? Here we go. Where are you going to go, Kamina? Huh? Anywhere but here. With anyone but you. <laughs> Hate me all you want. You are many things, Beltaloda, but you are not a traitor. You love your belt. And right now, belt is me. I'm busy. You're late. Quit tinkering and get your helmet. We're about to push off. Fucking make me. <laughs> Are we the same? I thought that was a twin for a sec. Effin make me. Mouthy Martian. Dumbass engineer. She does not look like a Martian. I'm sorry. I don't. I kind of feel racist for saying that. I expect Martians to look like... Less, I guess, human? Let's be a little playful. Typical engineer. Smart hands. But caca for brains. Ah, <laughs> she's a poop! <laughs> okay, time. Okay, press the prompt on the screen to complete the action. I should put you in the break for this. You'd have to catch me first. You've officially been caught. Cutting thrust. Prepare to enter float in three, two. <laughs> Gravity oh. battle. Come on. Let me hear it. You got me. <laughs> Fuck yes. Finally. <laughs> <laughs> you were kicking my ass for a minute. I thought you had me again. <sighs> that was a good move. Man, she's kind of weirdo, keeping count, and that's her first time winning? I don't think it counts. A little cheap, a little weak. But if we were playing for keeps, I would have headbutted you at the end there. And if we were playing for keeps, I would have smashed your brittle belter bones up against the ceiling. Don't believe everything they taught you in the Martian Navy. My bones are just as strong as yours. I didn't believe a single thing they taught me at that fascist brainwash factory. That's why I'm here with you, brittle bitches. Arlen and Rayan have begun breaching the airlock off the bridge. Once we're in, we are going Holy to- Holy shit, Io! Usually Io is covered up by these dust streams that fire off from its poles after volcanic activity. But it's clear as day. It's a moon. Uh, Earther colonies. It looks like any other moon. Pale and lumpy. Don't you talk about her like that. She's a beautiful volcanic goddess. <laughs> I usually only look for what could kill me out here. 
but it's nice getting to see it through your eyes. Even if they're the eyes of an inner who doesn't know her ass from her oxygen valve. You mean an inner who pile-drived your ass into a ceiling, right? <laughs> Let's head out. Just remember to- Woohoo! <sighs> As I was saying, remember to keep your weight back when you land. Still, not bad for an inner who's barely been in the belt for a month, eh? Reminds me when Rayon and I were learning to spacewalk. One time, he crashed right into the hole and shit his back suit. <laughs> <laughs> shut, shut it! Cool <laughs> Whoa! Ah, airlock is open, Exo. Uh, good. Let's see what we have in here. So we're now currently infiltrating the broken ship or something. The one that's lost in space. We got ourselves another Ishimura. Hopefully not. So I wonder, is the show like a space drama between the crew members? Or is there like actual action scenes? Table scraps. Ah! Fuck! Yo, Baratna. She's crazy. Just breathe. Keep your head down. It's okay. Now say puke in your suit, okay? Eh? That you won't choke to death on your own sick. Enough. Whoever put out this welcome gift for us is long gone. And they left behind a big-ass ship that must have some valuables still on it. So get scavenging! You all have your orders. Hurry up and do your job so we can get back home. Wow, so I'm ruling out that this was no accident. Something or someone cleanly decapitated all these heads and just left them out here on display? Very weird. Okay, my theory brain, it's like shooting off right now. Uh, since later on, in eight hours or so, I guess, she has the captain or the other dude that's our boss on the airlock. I'm guessing that either he has something to do with this or he knows what happened and he just doesn't care about us maybe being in the same situation and he puts our lives on risk because he wants all the valuables because he did mention that it'll make him and myself rich only us no one else in the crew so you know what's him to stop me from getting those riches so he'll get twice as much drive analysis New mission log unlocked. Mission briefing. 
Drive Signature Analysis. The Oshinami analyzed the drive signature of the attacking ship before their defense systems were compromised. The ship that took them down was a stolen UNN frigate. As if the heads didn't make it clear enough, this attack was the work of a pirates. Pirates? They cl- they've already stolen one UNN ship and they used to blast the second one to scrap. Whatever their goal is, they're certainly not afraid to piss off Earth in pursuit of it. Pissing off Earth in pursuit of it. So the work of pirates, they've done this before? This is their MO? Just cut off heads and just leave them here? Ooh. If I stare at these too long, I might be the one throwing up in my suit. I can move them. I feel disrespectful. But it's kind of funny. I just boop and they move away. I don't know them, so I'm fine. Plaque. It's not like the pirates took down some creaky old ship. This thing was practically brand new. UNN, Oshinabi, comm commissioned 2336. Leonidas, class frigade, built at Bush Shipyards. Haha, <laughs> shipyards. Oh, did I push you here? Can I bring it with me? Nah, I'm just stuck now. I'm so sorry. Tutorial. If you're lost, I know what that means. Open the bulkhead door. What's this? Quantum processor. I've got an intact QPU here. Nice find. Salvage? What's that for? Can I sell it? Or can I use it to craft stuff? Crafting? In a Telltale game? No way! It's probably just like a collectible screen, like on your shelf back in your room. I collected this from this episode. I collected this from this episode. I got a little collection. Whoa, whoa, this is trippy. Whoa, I can walk on wall. No, not really. Can I fly or something? Where'd I go? So I'm supposed to go with it. How do I reach that? Oh, I can't walk on walls. Cool. For a sec, I was stuck. Navigate through engineering. Ooh, pretty lights. Nice LEDs. Containment vault. Fuel, oxygen, scrap metal, wiring. If we can use it or sell it, it goes in here. Torn wall. Pirates tore this place apart. But pirates aren't scavengers. Are they not? I thought they, um... They steal stuff, no? They don't just go around killing people for no reason. They kill them and then steal their stuff. And that is a lot of blood. You know, I do wonder. Where they leave the bodies? Because they left the heads perfectly fine and intact. Look... Call Ar Arlen and Ryan. Ryan. Looks like the crew didn't surrender their heads to the pirates without a fight. Keep an eye out for trouble while you're setting up the containment vaults. You ever cut anybody's head off, Ixel? Back when you ran with doors? Of course not. Worse than heads. One time, I cut a man's eyes out when he looked at me funny. <gasps> for real? Sure did. Wore them as earrings the next night. Pasheng Fong. To land, aim at the floor or walls and press right trigger. What? Oh, whoa. I can fly now. They fly now? They fly now. Oh, there's a body. Hey, you got a name tag? Sorry, I can't read you. And I push you away. Now, let me just... Balance my equilibrium here and see where I'm going. This way. There must have been one hell of a battle here. Hmm. Doesn't look like a typical pirate attack to me. I agree. Maybe they were looking for something big and couldn't find it. 
left the heads to try and scare off anyone else. Tutorial: Hold while moving to move vertically. Makes sense, especially if they thought other people might come looking. Could be. The scuttlebutt around the Urshanabi has been pretty loud. I got a blowtorch. Move the blowtorch around to cut out the panels. Can I hack? What's this for? This looks like a fabricator of some kind. Maybe for material printing? Do we? <gasps> yes! Gimme, gimme! like the officer's section is still intact. Go check it out. On it. You know the military. The brass always hoards the best shit. Hmm. Let's hope so. What's this? Water recycler. Hmm. Clean palladium in this recycler. Good pull, drummer. UNN officers always keep a backup water recycler for themselves. Do you? You were a UNN officer. Do you have a backup recycler for yourself? Of course not. I drink the same cloudy sludge as the rest of you. I doubt it. Mm-hmm. Oh, look, at least he died peacefully. Look at him. Just sitting down. I don't want to do this anymore. Commanders, this is Private Takabe. Pirates have asked me to report the following. All crew members, except for those barricaded in the officers' quarters, have been killed or captured. The pirates do not wish to kill anyone else. If you open the gate now and allow them to complete their search, no more lives will be lost. And if you do not comply, oh god, please don't. That's what a pirate sounds like? I mean, it's sci-fi, so what'd I expect? Must be like a bunch of robots. Arlen and Rayan's experience hauling minerals on Vesta has been a big help. Even when they annoyed the hell out of me. United Nations. This map would be helpful if all the pieces were still together. No such luck. I did run a phase array scan. Everything matched the LiDAR except for one gap in the captain's quarters. I'll check it out when I get in there. I got a side objective. Find a new laser. Last time Khan smoked a cigar on the ship, Maya had to spend half the day cleaning out the air filter. Not a lot of particulates in the air filter. Virgil, how long do you think the bodies have been like this? A couple of days? That's my assumption, after analyzing the footage of the heads and the remnants of the precipitating battle. What can you tell me about the heads, medically speaking? From the uniformity of the incisions, it seems clear they were done post-mortem. Very difficult to be precise if the victim is fighting back. No, all right, you know what? That makes sense. Well, that's, just, that's actually more sadistic. They're already dead, and they're like, hey, you know what? Let's cut off their motherfucking head. And they're like, ah! They're all helping each other up. Got a new mission log unlocked. New mission log. Temperature gauge. Alert temperature change outside of expected parameters. Strubber's log. The temperature in this area spiked when the ship was breached. The attackers used a directed energy gun as part of their offensive. In addition to whatever torpedoes and PDC rounds they used to make it past the, uh, the Urshanabi's defenses... In order to cut down a ship to that size, the attackers either outnumber the Urshanabi or outgun them. I'm guessing this group was small, well-coordinated, and armed to the teeth. Well, yeah, if you got like a small group that's super, super well-organized, well-armed, then uh, you can take down a whole army. It's very sneakily. You can probably take down a whole nation. 
And we got some more bodies. Directed energy gun. Can I has gun? Can I has a gun? Microwave energy gun. Not a bad choice for persuading someone to open a door. I can't has gun. Skinnies. Bigoted asshole. He still didn't deserve to die like this. Skinnies. Is that like a racial term? You hey, come. You've been flying a long time. Never seen anything like this before. Nah. But when it comes to pirates, nothing surprises me. They're all monsters. Sounds personal. Sounds personal. Put it this way. We ever capture one alive? All I need is ten minutes and my torch blade. The ship would smell like barbecue for weeks. Hashang. Hey, Khan, do your thing. Us girl boss. You know, keep each other backs. All that crap. Crap. Crud. You know how it goes. Sorry, I recently saw the Barbie movie. So I'm like in my girl boss air right now. So, about that. It's a fingerprint lock. You're going to need to find the right hand. An officer. The bucko. Good news. The logs show that there was one out in the crew mess hall. Second Corporal Horowitz. All right. Might be difficult to get his body back to the door, though. Don't need all of him. Oh, God. Are you suggesting you're going to cut off their hand? Post-mortem? I like it. So you don't count? None of y'all? Oh my god, you look very stylish. The way you died. Oh, actually, you know what? You have that very, um, terrified look on you. Before they blast your brains. Over there? That's very far away. I like the flying. It's pretty cool. Whoa, look at that. Is that Mars? Europa's Bane. Anyone heard of it? It's one of Toussaint Zapata's ships. Ah, fuck. Shoulda known. Who is that? Latest pirate flavor of the month. Led a mining strike on Europa. Stole a few ships. Now self-employed as a full-time murdering psychopath. UNN has been giving her a wide berth. If she wanted to take out this ship, it means she had a good reason. Or, she's just a murdering psychopath. Got it. Thanks. Maya, I'm in the mess hall. Time to find an officer. I've linked the personnel records to your terminal. Try scanning the bodies and see if you get a match. Looks like the crew tried to mount a defense here. For all the good it did. Those poor people. Body number two. This is awful. Have you ever seen anything like it? No. Not even on series? Not even on series. Body number three. Are you the winner? Check the shoulders. UNN officers have those fancy bars. Oh, look, a pirate. I wonder if Toussaint was here herself. 
or if she stayed back on the ship like some other captains I know. Another pirate corpse. That makes two in here. Better than none. Information on Europa's Bane, any background on Toussaint? You know anything else about this Toussaint? Where she's from? The thing about murderous rampaging pirates? They tend to be a little mysterious. Corpse number four. I know pirates are vicious, but this is... You hear stories about people who spend too long off station. Go Big Pagal. Big Pagal? My belter is... It means really fucking crazy. Corpse number five. This much violence seems pretty Big Pagal to me. Can you hurry up? I am scanning everybody. Chill out. Working on it. Yes, quite literally working on it. Are you the winner? This was a massacre. No other word for it. Sooner we get out of here, the better. Have you checked the ceiling? If his mag boots were off, he might have drifted. Huh? The ceiling? There's a corpse right there. Hey, buddy, did not notice you. Sorry about this. Hand acquired. Fuck, fuck, fuck! Rayan, what's happening? Uh, uh, an accident. My leg. Uh, it's the. Falota, you're the accident. Keep holding. I'll be right there. Drummer, whatever mess he's got himself into, make sure the containment vault is secure. We cannot afford to lose it. Captain, Rayan's back suit is- Not now! Drummer, get your ass over there. On my way. Yeah, I don't know. Teammate, he's kind of in trouble. Sounds like it. Kind of want to check out what's going on over there. See what we can do. What happened? Unexploded charge, I think. Pirates must have left it behind. Pashang, you didn't scan first. Drummer, his suit is punctured and losing pressure. You need to release the vault and patch him now, or he could die. Belay that. That vault has O2, fuel, armaments. We can't afford to lose it. Lose the vault, lose Man, bitch, fuck your vault. It's a literal other life. Wait, lose the leg? That's another, that's an option. I mean, hey dude, if you're still gonna be alive and we get the valuables, you gotta think about it here. You'll get a peg leg. Do you realize how cool that, okay, I know, I'm sorry. Our first major choice. It's not much of a tough choice, to be honest. Usually in The Walking Dead, they'd be like, save one person or the other. One of the motherfuckers gonna die. Pick which one lives. This one, he'll lose a leg. I mean, it's not that bad. We're in sci-fi land. Can he not get a new leg? Ah. Uh... 
Okay, so lose the vault, right? Is that the is that the best choice? Hold on. What are you doing? check on him, but vitals look stable. You did the right thing, Kamina. Bullshit. See if you feel that way in a few weeks when we're running out of supplies. He's right, Poratna. You're a disgrace to Beltaloda. It's done. That was a really weird transition. How I just went black screen and then back in the game. It kind of felt like um, like whenever you're like watching a show on like a streaming service, and the show on TV had a commercial break, but on the ser on the streaming app, there's no commercial, so it just skips the next scene. That's exactly what it felt like. Is that a weird comparison? Like it literally felt like we skipped a commercial break, like an actual TV show. Maybe that was the point. Maybe they wanted to feel like a TV show. Ooh, light. Beacon. Whoa, can I fly here? Can I go in the planet? That'd be fun. Wow, this place got effed up. We got another anarchy symbol, graffiti. OPA graffiti on the outside of the containment vault. How dumb can you get? Shinobi's last stand. Data drivers. Look. They torched all their data. Standard up, but unfortunate for us. Ooh, it looks pretty. Star map. What's a UNN escort ship doing alone out here? There's nothing to escort. Besides the pirates, there's no signs of ships in the vicinity. So they must have been traveling alone. Interesting. Doesn't seem like UNN protocol. Flying alone out here. It isn't. This clearly wasn't a typical mission. Just like it wasn't a typical pirate attack. What was that? Is that like a flashlight? Oh, cigars. Hold the collect. 
Khan, I have something for you. It's a surprise. The biggest surprise would be ten uninterrupted minutes without your voice in my ear telling me how to do my job. Can you give me that? Haha, <laughs> uh, fuck you too. You know, one of these nights I'm going to sneak into your quarters and smother you to death with your pillow. <laughs> Tell Arlen before you do. I bet that shithead would love to watch. You know what? Forget about the surprise. Already forgotten. I love it when crew members can just shit on each other whenever they want. It's all play banter. Even with the skeleton crew, the UNN would have massively outnumbered the pirates. And still, the pirates cut right through them. 67 souls in service, 12 officers presiding. Got a lot of people. And they all died anyways. They don't even get to finish their last words. That's some perfect writing for your finger. It's as if someone typed it on a keyboard and just pasted it on the wall. Oh, what's up, corpse? This is Christian Abasarala, Deputy Undersecretary for Peace Operations. I am denying your request for additional support against Belter hostiles. Captain, you lead a well-armed battleship against a single pirate frigate. You outnumber them five to one. I don't give half a fuck what ghost stories you have heard about this Captain Tucson. Do your fucking job, or you can hand me your bars directly when you return to Earth to do whatever disgraced soldiers do after they have been retired. Regards, Christian Abasarala. Damn. Looks like a personal key card. I should find whatever it opens. Found a key card on the captain. Not sure what it's for though. Check his room? Maybe he has a safe somewhere that pirate scanners wouldn't have picked up. You look at that, you got a taxidermy. I've heard some earthers find it therapeutic to fly with something that reminds them of life at home. Plants, soil, stuffed animal carcasses. What would I bring from home? If I would like to remember Earth, I would bring, I don't know, probably like one of my, one of the plants that my mom grew in the backyard. That'd be kind of cool. Hey Cap, you need any dead animals for your desk? Why the fuck would I? Probably still has rabies. It's a memento. It's a gift. Think of it as a gift. I saw it and was reminded of how you just stand there and watch us do all the work. Leave that thing where it is, or you'll be standing there watching us take off without you. Earthers like to visit the parts of their planet that they haven't destroyed yet. I'm no art snob, but I don't think most paintings are done on iron. There you are. Blowtorch? In what shape? We're making a square again. Hell yeah, four corners. Up top. Oh, wow. I knew exactly what spot I was going to be at, too. I was pressing X instead of Y. I was like, why is it not working? Maybe something good on here. Or maybe a lot of dick pics. Guess we'll see. Cap, found something that could be something. Transmitting now. Fuck. That's a lot of data. <laughs> All right, load up the crew and head back. I'll see if there's any gold in this shit pile.
Now, loading game. Loading assets. Yeah, boss man. Khan's picking up a short in the fusion coupling. She needs you to take a look. Now? Is that necessary? It is, if you want to put this wreck behind us. I'm on it. I'm on it, boss man. So what's her accents like? Uh, my character, forgot her name already. Uh, if she was from Earth... It sounds kind of Russian, and the twins, they have that Jamaican accent to them. Am I wrong about that? It's the way they talk, too. Paint job, look at it. Is that Icarus? Who's this? You'd think with a name like Artemis, we'd eventually hit our target. Artemis. Artemis, Artemis, is that like the... I've heard that name before. Was it like a god of something? Or another mythical thingy. Pirate killer. Whoa, whoa, is this a gun? Wait, what? Okay, for a second, I thought those arrows in the in the um, in the mag box. You see the bullets? I thought it was arrows. Despite Khan's nickname, this cannon hasn't killed anything yet. It did break up some pretty large debris though. Take the ladder to the thrusters. This is Drama. Preparing to access the fusion coupling. Stand by. Maya. Maya. The volcano. You have to see this. Maya? Is everything... Sabaka! Oh wait, was that the wrong button? I'm sorry. Uh, right. Random curse words. Left. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Left. Jeez, climb faster. This is drama. Come in. What the fuck is going on? Someone respond. Cox. This is the way of it. We all know that. Death is part of the pact we make when we venture into the belt. Drummer was one tough bitch. With her past, I figured she would survive anything. But none of us is immune to the realities of life out here. I know Kamina Drummer. And she wouldn't want us wasting our oxygen on mourning. She'd tell us to get off our asses and get to work. That's the drummer I know. She'd be looking ahead to the next score. The next burn. That's right, boss man. I keep my eyes forward. But that makes it a lot harder to watch my back. 
Confess, you're fucked. It's over. You're fucked, Pompa. How the hell did you- The Bakawala tried to torch me. Lured me down to the thrusters, hit the engine. Play it off like it was an accident. I bet he was up in the bridge alone before coming down here, yeah? So what? I was setting new coordinates. How was I supposed to know you were on the hull? <laughs> Check the logs. Receipts! Why don't we pull up the radio logs from the server? Shouldn't take long. Now I understand. Y'all see what's happening? Drummer's making her move. I always wondered when she would. Why did you do it? Was there something on that drive I found? Can you believe this bullshit? You've been planning this since you first stepped on board this ship, haven't you? Mutinous bitch. Bro, you got a weird shaped head. Ask yourselves, who do you believe? Me? Or the man who has made promise after promise with no payoff? Darlin, Rayan, take her down to the brig. She's gonna pay for this traitorous bullshit. Do it! Nah. I don't think so, Pampa. Damn skinnies. I should have known. Everybody stay where you are. Stand back. This is still my ship. Why don't you put that gun down, Captain? We're all crew here. We may be scavengers, but we're not criminals. We follow protocol. We solve disputes with words. Not violence. That's how we keep our humanity. Give me the gun, Captain. It'll be okay. She's gonna kill me. No one is gonna kill you. I won't be so sure about that. Back off. I'm warning you all. Captain, it'll be okay if you just- Bullshit. Tell it to the skinnies, not me. You want to see what happens to you when they're in charge of this ship? Maybe we should tell them who you really are. Fuck! Oh my god, I'm so sorry. No your fault. Virgil, this is not your fault, but we need you now. What happened to do no harm, asshole? Are you okay? I'm good. Good. I'll man the bridge while you sort out this shit show. Just don't touch anything! I'll be right there! As soon as Dr. Dipshit here is finished. I did everything for you, drummer. I could have turned you over to Dawes a hundred times, but I didn't, because we made a deal. A deal is dead. Oh no. Don't you fucking dare. Don't you dare- Take him to the airlock. No! No, drummer! No, let me go! Drummer, no! Please, drummer, no! No! Listen, come on! Listen to me, damn it. Drummer, listen to me. The coordinates on that data drive, they're for the MK Core. You've never heard of it, that's exactly my point. Look, you were right, okay? I did try and take you out. 
I've heard how you ungrateful fucks all talk about me. Why should I let you cash in now? But really, I... I wanted the profits for myself. Because this score drummer... This is the greatest score any scavenger has ever come across. We've heard it before. How do you know? Good question. How do you know? How could you possibly know that? I've been at this a long time. When there's a treasure this big, I make it my business to know about it. Look, when you find what's at the other end of those coordinates, the whole system will be on your ass. You'll need me if you want any chance of unloading it. I'm a bastard, okay? I know, but I'm not crazy. Throw me in the brig. You'll be glad I'm still here when the time comes. Listen to me, damn it. Drummer, listen to me. Space him. Throw him in the brig. Okay, so clearly, he knows more than me, so I feel like it'd be kind of a waste to space him now. But, then again, if I keep him with me, there's probably some bad thing he can do. I don't know. I've already saved one person, or a leg. Also, it'd be kind of, um, awkward just to put him in the airlock, like, you know what? I changed my mind. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Thank you, thank you, son. Uh! Tie him up. What now? We've been locked. Cox forgot to hide our drive signature. Hashang, of course he did. Uh! Captain? Captain Drummer! What are your orders? Captain Drummer! What are your orders? There it is. That's episode one of The Expanse, a Telltale series. I enjoyed that. That was, um, actually it's pretty short because usually their episodes are at least an hour long or sometimes they go even more than an hour because um, their later games after the first Walking Dead, they have like the budget to make bigger areas to explore and to have more talkative conversations with like the other characters. So they try their best to expand this as much as they can. Um, I probably should skip the credits because they might show like a little, um, like a post credit scene of the next episode. Like a little hint. Alright, the whole thing. Okay, uh, drinking with Cox. Uh, 67%. Drummer didn't drink with Cox. Khan's insult. Drummer tried to get Khan to like her. Drummer snapped at Khan. 55%. Wow. You know, it's actually funny because, um, you see memes and people joke around about the way, um, these story games and the way the um they present options of what to say and then when you actually press the option the character says it in a way where like i did not mean that at all so i want to take a guess that maybe drummer more people didn't expect drummer to snap at a con or something like that ryan and arlen's fights 68 percent drummer let arlen bully ryan 56 percent ignored oh that's surprising i thought i thought it'd be the opposite Wrestling Maya. 1% drummer got an upper hand before Maya pinned her. Wait, what? Drummer was easily beaten up by Maya. Are you talking about like the first, um, the, the first fight scene? Wait, how do people get easily beaten by Maya? Wait, what? Hold on. Okay, I, th I think the image is bugged. 
because it's showing like different stuff. 11% Maya didn't play a prank on Drummer. Didn't play a prank. 47% Drummer threatened to re retaliate for Maya's prank. 42% Drummer laughed off Maya's prank. I didn't see a prank. 45% Drummer asked Khan about her past with pirates. 32% didn't ask. 23% didn't talk to Khan about pirates. Ryan's Crisis. Drummer protected Ryan and lost the vaults. 31% Drummer sacrificed Ryan's leg to save the vaults. Okay, that's not that's not much of a big difference. And um, helping Virgil. Drummer told Virgil the shooting was not his fault. Drummer told Virgil to do his job. Oh, wow, that's a big percentage. Cox Punishment, the big one. 33% Drummer threw Cox in the brig. 67% Drummer space Cox. Wow. Another big percentage. The next episode needs to be downloaded. But I don't think it's out yet. That might be it. No post credit scene. Now playing. Run and hide. I don't believe it's out, right? Yeah. Okay, I was going to say, like, there's no way the other episode is already out. Because I'm pretty sure I saw it scheduled on some sort of article that says that, um... Actually, we're, we're going to... Usually when Telltale Games, when they make a new episode, usually it's one per month or every two months, depending how long it takes for the development. But I think for this game, it's like one episode every two weeks, which is pretty quick. So yeah, we should get the fifth episode by the end of September. And that'll be it for The Expanse for now. I'll see you next time in, I think, in about two weeks for episode two. And yeah, that'll be it. Hit the like if you enjoyed, subscribe more content like this, and I'll see you next time for whatever I post next. Bye!